Hi guys, it's your girl Keisha Dixon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you came across my channel. On this channel, you'll be on the journey with me as I take Manjaro and as I lose weight on this medication. Another thing that I love about Manjaro is that it helps with type 2 diabetics and it also helps to resolve fatty livers. For the last couple of weeks, I have been having a weight stall, guys. I've been sitting at between 200 and 202 pounds and I got bummed about it. If you want to hear more about how I'm working through these feelings and what helps me stay encouraged and motivated, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Keisha Dixon. You made it here, so go ahead and subscribe and click your notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. So you guys know I love to talk to you guys on my way to work. Um, I was feeling down and out the last couple of days and who better to bring those feelings and emotions to than my supporters people who are walking along these this journey with me people who have experienced these feelings as well um not saying that i need to be encouraged because i am encouraged i'm just having a moment of weakness that i wanted to get off my chest you know and kind of vocalize guys when i started this weight loss journey and started taking the medication manjaro I didn't do any research. One of my friends suggested it to me and I hopped on board because I just was ready to get this weight loss off. And just hearing her stories about her friends losing weight, how much weight they lost in a certain amount of time. In my mind, I put that as an expectation for my own body. But I'm starting to realize that my walk on Manjaro is so much different from everybody else's walk. So everybody's walk is different. And I mean, I knew that. But because I was losing weight so good in the beginning, and now that I've come to a stall, it's almost like a wake up call. You know, my body is being challenged. My body is going through something that it's never gone before and it's feeling like I'm starving it. So I do understand that my body wants to hold on to everything that I drink and everything that I eat because I'm barely eating and drinking. And I believe this is the reason why I'm going through my stall. Now I am on the five milligrams of Manjaro and I am having increased side effects with that five milligram dose. So I know my body is going to respond differently to each and every dose. What I had to come to realize, and that's just by conversating with my supporters and watching you guys' journey and listening to you guys' story is that we are all different and our experience is going to be different. And like I said in my previous video, I don't mind being the tortoise and I don't mind this being a marathon because I do look forward to my goal weight and what's going to happen in the end. I just have to learn to be patient in the moment. It's easy to say those things when you're just projecting and you're just talking and you're just talking about you know what's gonna happen but when you're in the moment i i really didn't think that i would start feeling this way but because i've been stalled for two and a half weeks i'm like gosh what am i doing wrong so this past week i did start working out i started drinking more fluids i started taking um more carbs out of my diet and i'm hoping that i meet you guys in the 190 family very soon but I really hopped on here to encourage someone else because I know if I'm feeling this, somebody else is feeling this. But what I really want to say is be patient with yourself and celebrate the small wins and give your body time to adapt to this new lifestyle change. I'm talking to myself and I'm talking to you guys. Um... I don't want to compare myself to anyone else. I um, watched another YouTube. I watched another YouTuber's video, um, Chrissy G. I always look to Chrissy G for motivation and encouragement because she's just so good at inspiring people on this journey. And that feeling that I was having. It was the video that popped up and that's how I know God is covering me and that's how I know that I'm going to be successful in this situation because I was feeling this and I needed to hear those words. It's just something about touching and agreeing with someone else, like hearing someone else who's experienced these things say the same thing and validating the thoughts that you have in your own mind about what's going on in your body. So yes, guys, we have to be patient. 
with our journey. We have to give our bodies grace and time to adapt. And so now that I've got that realization, um, I feel like I'm in a better mood. I feel more positive. I was contemplating not moving forward with my 7.5 milligram dose, but I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on those who've gone through five milligrams and um, went up to the 7.5 milligrams. A lot of people are saying that it gets better. I do know that there are side effects with every single dose and I just have to manage the sy symptoms. I'm learning that from my supporters as well. Thank you guys so much. As long as I'm taking this one day at a time, I think I'll be better. So tonight, guys, I got me some Arizona ginseng diet tea. It has zero carbs in it. And I also have those same grapes that I've been snacking on. This is the same bottle, guys. I don't eat a whole container. It only takes me like a few of these to meet that sweet craving that I have. And also, once I get anything in my belly, my mind instantly says okay you're full so i really hope that i inspired someone today i wish you all best wishes on your journeys keep your head up guys it's one day at a time and i'm gonna say bye bye for now but i'm definitely gonna see you in my next video love you guys hi i'm keisha dixon i'm a lifestyle influencer and i'm glad you found my channel i post weekly videos so make sure to hit your notification bells so you don't miss any of those future uploads